Hey everybody, welcome back to Three Generations Restoration. We got a short video here for you guys. Um, it's gonna be too long to make a YouTube short, so I figured I'd just make a little video. <clears throat> just got back from vacation, and we got ourselves a new tractor on the lot that was purchased while I was away. Um, you can kind of see in the background. I'm gonna throw a picture up right now of what it looked like on Marketplace. But here it is in its glory. This is a John Deere M. So I found this on Marketplace when I was down on vacation and sent it to my dad. And lo and behold, <clears throat> it ended up at the shop. So obviously a few highlights of this thing. It's got kind of a, obviously it's a factory loader setup for this thing. Um, run by a little pump down there that you can see that's ran by the front idler or the front pulley. Um, it's actually got a cylinder to control the tilt of the bucket, which you don't really see. We got it chained up currently right now. Um, otherwise, this thing's kind of a pain in the butt to move around. Um, let me get back over to show you the serial tag on it for the loader. Looks like it is a, yeah, John Deere M WM3202 loader. So this is the actual loader that came with the M, that, or you could buy with the M. So this is an actual John Deere loader. Our plans with the loader, we're going to end up probably taking it off and probably going to put it up for sale. So if any of you guys are looking for a loader such as this, um, we're going to probably put up for sale for a while and if nobody is looking to possibly buy it we're gonna probably just end up scrapping it but normally we have people that buy these loaders um, so the goods of this tractor are obviously John Deere M you don't see or we don't see a whole lot of these things around um, it's got good back tires good front tires it's got the hubs on the front you do not really see these around much anymore so those are good that those are there um carbs there distributors there everything's here minus the exhaust we're missing the muffler and that leads me into the bad of this tractor so we're out of gear right now and i should be able to roll this thing that's not the case. Um, everything shifts good. Shifts into gear fine. So both brakes are currently locked up on this thing. Um, oh, and I just noticed that this thing actually has a belt pulley on it, which is kind of cool. Obviously, it's rubbing into the three-point. Um, but it actually looks like the three-point... Yeah, this, this is a, not a three-point, but kind of like a two-point, if you will. Um, PTO. So the brakes are stuck. Um, and then... That's kind of messed up. So I do think I know what the problem is there. I think there's a, like an extendo wheel kind of thing that you were able to do back in the day with these wheels and it looks like somebody welded that actually um so we're gonna have to figure out how in the hell we're even gonna get this thing off um i honestly think that it has something to do with maybe a u-joint or could pipe possibly be a bad uh roll pin up in here um another bad thing is the engine is stuck pull the oil out and see what it's like the oil is a little over full um story on this thing is it got pulled out of the shed and sat outside got rain in it and then just kind of locked up from then on so generators there but obviously won't do no good the engine ain't running um so this is going to be another one of them projects 
going to be the same it's pretty much the same engine that we just did on the 420 that you see right down there um if you remember i really screwed up the timing on the distributor but it is a pretty straight old tractor obviously we're missing the fenders those can be found um it's got some nice wheel weights which you don't see very much um so this is going to be a great candidate for restoration it is obviously we got i don't know we probably got quite a few in front of it so we're probably going to end up pulling the loader off and having it sit for a little bit but nonetheless pretty straight old tractor here um like i said got got this thing on vacation and turned out to be a pretty cool uh cool little old m we haven't had one probably in i don't know maybe eight nine years we've had mts and uh 420s 430s we haven't had an m in a while last one uh we actually had in fact we uh traded some money and the m for that 4020 right there so hopefully this thing we can bring back to life i'm sure we can um i'm not one that's very big into if we can't get something running we're gonna scrap it i mean if i was a guy like that that alice would have been gone a long time ago but here she is nice little john deere m serial number is two three six zero zero so stay tuned for uh some episodes on this john deere m here and we'll hopefully see if we can't get this thing running can't see if we can't get this thing turning and moving we got a lot to do and uh got some time to do it so thank you guys for watching hit the subscribe button if you're going to be interested in watching stuff like this and uh stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching